It's been nearly 20 years since Spice Girls debuted their hit single Wannabe, and I have no idea where the time has gone since then. It still feels like just yesterday I was rocking my Spice Girls handbag with my matching t-shirt, trying to figure out which Spice Girl I relate to the most. Now I've always found it interesting how our first pop idols have changed over the years, and how they have seemed to have defied aging altogether. They seriously are looking better than ever. Now there's been speculation about cosmetic surgery, and I want to take a closer look at these rumors, and if there's actually any truth behind it all. What's going on guys, my name is Sal Nico, and and this is before and after transformations. I would love to hear from you guys, so let me know who you want me to talk about next in the comments down below. You can also hit me up on my Instagram at Stella Nicole. Now let's get started. Now let's start with Victoria Beckham. Victoria Beckham has been well known for her high style inspiration for the past three decades and is married to one of the most beautiful men on the planet. It's not surprising that this 42 year old fashion icon wants to look as good as she can. Now let's start with Victoria Beckham's face. When looking at pictures of Victoria over the years, there's hardly any evidence of any plastic surgery on her facial features. The only real difference you see with her face over the years is the change in her makeup. Her jawline seems to be a little more pronounced as well, but that could be a result of her losing so much weight. It seems that she's aged gracefully and has avoided any of the common nose job or facial fillers, and I must say, I'm a little low key jealous of her aging process. Now, let's talk about Victoria Beckham's rockin' body. Victoria's been very open about her breast implants, admitting to having surgery to enlarge her breasts from a 34A to a 34DD back in 1999. She has since said had the procedure reversed, and she just changed the size and placement of her breasts. You can see that when she first got the procedure done, her breasts were extremely pushed up on her chest and extremely round, which didn't suit her body type at all as much as they do now. She vaguely commented on her new breasts during an interview with Vogue back in 2011 saying, no torpedo bazookas, gone. In 2017, Victoria wrote a letter to her 18 year old self for British Vogue which touched upon a few interesting topics, one being her regret on doing plastic surgery. She wrote, I should probably say don't mess with your boobs, all those years I denied it, it's stupid, a sign of insecurity, just celebrate what you've got. Regardless of regrets, I think she looks flawless especially after having 4 children and she really is demonstrating what it means to be a true superstar. Now moving on to Emma Bunton. Emma aka Baby Spice is still living up to her nickname as her face has she's literally not changed. Seriously, how does she look almost identical to her Spice Girl days? Now she's never admitted to any filler or having surgery, but when comparing her facial features from the past to present, it doesn't seem like she's changed at all. She either has done no work at all or has a really great doctor. Now when she turned when she turned 40, she stated, I'm hoping to grow old gracefully. I like to think I will, but when it comes to things like Botox, I would never say never. Well, whatever she's doing is working, and she's still living up to her baby face nickname. Now, Emma is always proud of her figure, saying, I like being curvy. I don't think I look good thin. After gaining weight after the birth of her son, Emma said it took her more than a year to get back to the weight she was prior to her son's birth. She was able to do it naturally and slowly and went to the gym two or three times a week and ate healthy. She also stays in shape by heading out for a run or walking her dog. Emma also shares in an interview the importance of a balanced lifestyle stating this. It's got to be about balance though. Being healthy but not letting it rule your life. When my friends ask me around and say let's get a pizza, I would hate to be the only person picking at the pepperoni. It's safe to say that not saying no to those pizza nights are working in her favor. When looking at older pictures of when she was younger, her body was always super slim and it seems that having two kids and a few cheat nights isn't affecting her body at all. She looks just as good as she did back when she was in the famous girl group. Jerry. Now moving on to Jerry Hallowell. Ginger Spice, who until Ed Sheeran came along, was one of the most famous gingers in pop history. But it's her ever changing looks that has been subject to tabloids over the years. The 43 year old has admitted to getting Botox to help her with the aging process, but admitted that she wasn't in love with the results, but hasn't ruled out trying it again. She stated, I would never say never to having plastic surgery, but at the moment, I don't like the idea of it. I've seen a lot of people who've had a lot of surgery and they look weird. I don't want to feel the pressures to maintain a smooth, line free face and a perfect breast. There are days when I look at myself and think, you should have done that, but I'm trying to resist it. There's something inside of me that recoils from what that says. You are 35 and you're not going to be in the industry all the time. You need to work on the inside so that shines through first. Comparing old pictures to recent ones of her, I think she's being honest with her fans. She looks natural. Her facials, natural expression lines and wrinkles which are expected to someone in their 40s. Now Jerry underwent a body transformation following the years she had left the band. During her time away from the band, she read self help books, ditched junk food and changed her life completely as well as her body. 
Jerry has commented about the myth of breastfeeding and how it's taking a toll on her body and states why she would never go under the knife stating this. It was a long time when I was breastfeeding and then I was like let it go and it's such a lie and it makes you thinner. That's a lie told by the milk mafia. My boobs look alright, maybe not as tip top as they were but I wouldn't have surgery. I would feel bad going under anesthetic. I have a child, what if I died? Jerry does look amazing, she's petite, toned and muscle bound and she does credit her body transformation to yoga. She certainly looks happy and healthy and with such natural beauty we don't blame her for not wanting to go under the knife. Moving on to Scary Spice, Mel B. Now the former Scary Spice has been featured heavily in the tabloids with sparks of plastic surgery rumors over the years. Now she's never come forward and admit to having Botox or filler in her face, but I have to say when comparing some older pictures to now, it seems that she does look a little different than her Scary Spice days. Naturally as we age, we tend to lose volume in our face, and when looking at Mel B's face, her cheeks are full and it seems that she would have been maintaining them with fillers like Juvederm. Her forehead appears smoother now and her brows do look elevated, which can be done by using Botox. There has also been speculation that she has done under eye fillers and upper eyelid surgery as in her earlier photos she has excess skin in the upper eyelids. Now lastly her lips seem to be a little fuller which is a great example of how a little goes a long way. Overall, I think she's aging well, her appearance is very age appropriate and I think she looks really good. Now there's been a lot of speculation when it comes to Mel B's body. Has she undergone a tummy tuck and a breast augmentation? Mel claims that her chest is all credited to motherhood and not breast implants. Ugh, I'm finding that hard to believe because they do look a lot different even prior to having children. Her top cleavage is what really stands out as they are busted and a lot fuller which leads me to believe that they have been done. She was also rumored to have had liposuction around her belly which is the procedure done to get rid of excess fat in the abdominal area to give the person a tighter abdomen. Now people are having a hard time believing that after 3 children her stomach could be so tight and I'm not sure about this one as I'm sure hard work in the gym and a proper diet could be the reason she looks so good. She has always been petite and and I'm sure with the right trainers and personal chefs, it's a lot easier to maintain a body like that. Now let's get into Mel C. Mel C is looking better than ever. Now what is her secret to her fresh face and petite figure? Well she's not afraid of Botox and she's living a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Now she's admitted to using Botox and has admitted to being terrified of getting carried away. She states, There are so many people in the public eye and it's in the street who look great and benefit from it. But I think it's easy to get a little bit dysmorphic about it. It can be a slippery slope. The main thing I've finally learned over these past 20 years is balance. I'm not averse to a bit of Botox and there are probably not a lot of people in the public eye who haven't had it. They all have. I've avoided it for a long time but then I had it and I really loved it. If you've had a tiny tiny bit then I think it's fine. When you see people who look fabulous but you never know if they've actually had anything done, get me their surgeon's number I say. She also confessed that she enjoys getting her face pricked but expressed her fear about going too far as she wouldn't want to look like Michael Jackson. Ouch. I do like it but it does freak out because I don't want to turn to that person that everyone thinks looks like Michael Jackson. Melcy has nothing to fear, she looks unbelievable and the very little she's done looks really good. And trust me girl, you look nothing like Michael Jackson. Sorry Michael. Melcy has admitted to one eating next to nothing and suffering depression and exercising obsessively as a Spice Girl. She has since conquered her battle with bulimia and is no longer afraid of food. She's adopted the 80-20 diet. She watches what she eats Monday to Friday and allows herself to indulge in her favorite foods on the weekend which has led her to a dramatic change in her attitude towards food. I have learned to not be afraid of food. I have my 80-20 rule where throughout the week I'll try to be healthy and then at weekends I'm more relaxed especially in front of my scarlet. My downfall is crisp and lager but they're usually reserved for weekends. She also credits her daughter for having saved her from her eating disorder. After giving birth she wasn't compelled to lose the 50 pounds she had gained while being pregnant but instead found herself accepting her body for the first time. When I was in the band I hardly ate and I exercised obsessively as I was so focused on my weight. As my bump grew the more proud I became of my body and suddenly I felt more comfortable eating healthy. 5 years after giving birth her body has changed but it has all been achieved in a healthy and natural way. She shares what her secrets are to her toned figure saying this, I'm definitely fitter because I look after myself better. I tend to do 4 activities a week like running, cycling, swimming or yoga class. Now I'm really loving this story of Mel C, how she conquered her fears and battles of an eating disorder and has still come up on top. She truly is an inspiration. Alright guys that's a wrap up today's video of before and after transformations. My name is Sal Nicole and thanks for watching this video. Let me know who you want me to document next. You can comment down below and follow me on my Instagram page. What am I talking about? Nobody knows. I'm gonna go eat pizza now.